so it probably won't swim off straight away. Give it a little bit of time to revive itself. Just while I'm holding on to this one. Oh, that one's gone. And there are some there. Uh, just move out a little bit so I can lift it up without lifting it out too far. There are some cracking scaly mirrors in here. I'm well chuffed with that. Carp anglers often try to picture what is going on under the water and try to understand what different bait and rig tactics mean to the fish. Right, you come to a lake for the very first time, uh, it's, it's quite important to know a little bit about the features, find the depths and you find little sort of gravel lumps and little deep holes and things like that because it could all be relevant to, to you know, where the fish are on any, any one occasion. Uh, what you've got to bear in mind is like the water temperature varies throughout the depths of water. So like in the warmest part of the day, you might find the fish up on the shallower bits, up you know, four foot, five foot deep. Whereas when it cools down of the evening, they tend to sort of go down and maybe fish, you know, be in the deeper bits. So what I've actually done here, I spent, spent about two hours at the start of the trip, sort of having a little plumb around. Um, there's a big main bar that runs, runs along the center of the lake, but it's quite long range from this swim. It's more sort of, more sort of reachable from where Mark is on the other side. Uh, however, I can just about get the sort of drop off of, of the bar. Um, and out this area, out to the right, I mean, that's a top spot for grass carp. There's a, there's a sort of shallow hump that's around about five foot deep. And the other area has been out by the island. I mean, island, islands are an obvious feature. Fish are going to, you know, sort of hug, hug the margins of an island, much the same as they hug the, uh, the near bank. Albeit, I haven't seen no fish real sort of close in on this lake. Uh, so let's just sort of show you where that ump is. I can remember roughly where it is. It's quite big, I say it's... Always feel me lead down, feel it go donk as it hits the bottom. I think that's around about spot on. Right, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, yeah, five foot deep. So that's spot on it. And obviously, you know, use that as a visual marker for. I've been leaving it out there for. You know, quite a while and you know, sort of baiting up around it. I've been baiting with boilies, been putting a bit of spod mix out and uh, baiting with boilies also. Um, and this time of year, I mean, the fish have just finished spawning and there's a good chance they want to sort of look out for a nice meal of, uh, of boilies. We'll get the throwing stick and put a few more baits around that. Quite unusual, my old throwing stick. It's, uh, it's actually made out of the exhaust pipe of a helicopter. It's made of some sort of titanium, so it's quite light and weight. And being, made, being made of metal, you know, I can't sort of tread on it and break it. tendency for the baits to break up sometimes so I've just wet the inside of the stick. Come on the grass cart. That 
should do. Don't give them too many. But you can see by, that's like five foot deep on that ump. Draw it in a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's right down to 12 foot. So therefore, if the float was a little bit further, so during the daytime, fishing on the shallower water, four or five foot, as it gets towards darkness, bring them back this a little bit, this way a little bit, fishing in the deeper stuff. Right, now we've shown you the spot, let's get it back out there and get a rod on it. Just check the baits are okay. Always have a little look at the hook point as well. That's, that's one of the most important aspects of uh, fishing because if that thing's not sharp, then you're not going to hook anything. So all right. Just feel that lead down through the water, just feel that little reassuring donk as it hits the bottom. It's not, it's not particularly weedy here, but if you fish on a weedy lake sometimes, feeling, feeling the lead down, you feel it lock up straight away and you know it's you know, presented on top of the weed, you know, in a useless position in other words. Right, catch me that orange hat.